So who's at fault here, the biker or the guy that's driving the car? It's obviously going to be the biker because he's totally oblivious to when he walks out into the road. Remember, that's a road, it's an alleyway, it's still part of the highway, so look at that. He randomly walks out into the road with that metal plank thing. Let's watch it again. So for anyone saying that it's an electric car and it needs to be louder, it's common sense. Were you not taught in school to look left and right and all round before you walk into the road? He doesn't even look left. So how is it a surprise that he got hit by the car? So this is what you learn from this video. You don't just randomly walk out into a highway, aka the public road there, without looking where you're actually walking. So it's the biker that's at fault there. For anyone that's defending the biker, you put yourself in the car's position. Here we have a man that's got a metal sheet in front of his face and he walks into the road. What are you going to say to that then? You don't have to be a driver to know common sense. How is the driver going to know that he's going to randomly come out of there? He's giving him no indications of that he's just going to walk out into the road. Common sense would tell you that the driver is going to carry on and even if he did see the guy that's with the helmet on there, he would assume that he'd look out into the road to make sure he's safe to walk out into the road. You don't just randomly open the door and walk into the middle of the road like that, right?